Froshies, welcome back. We are here on Gold Street, which is literally being painted gold. So you probably weren't on campus much this summer, and fall class is about to start. So we're here to catch you up on the five most important things you missed while you were on summer vacation. Number one, right here on Gold Street, in July, a 26-year-old student was stabbed seven times at 11 p.m. at night. A 23-year-old male has since been arrested and charged with aggravated assault and assault with a weapon. Police say the victim did not know his attacker. Number two, Ryerson security issued a warning over the summer about a male who was crawling under the tables in the library and trying to touch students' feet. Security says young Asian women were being targeted. Number three, the flash flood that hit Toronto in July closed down part of the subway, also causing problems at Ryerson. Over 30 leaks and floods were reported, including portions of Kerr Hall. No serious damage was caused. Number four, a Cadillac SUV swerved on Girard Street, hit another car, and then crashed into the north entrance of the Sally Horse Hall building. Ryerson is currently repairing the damages. Looks like July was a pretty garbage month for Ryerson. But in better news, number five, York University and Ryerson are now partners. This means that students at either institution can go to the other university and take courses. They can then use those credits and apply them towards a degree at their home university. For the eye opener, I'm Jackie Hong.